everybody. Welcome to AJS News. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and Happy yes. Holidays. And we have a word from our sponsors. Check it out. Oh, sweet. What'd I get? Oh, Surfshark, the best freaking VPN out there. Guys, you guys need to protect your data this holidays. Why, Alex? Why is that so important? Uh, well, uh, people have time off at the end of the year, and if you're going to be watching Netflix like we all are, you might as well get rid of that geo-blocking and unlock the full potential. That's what Surfshark does for you guys. And why do we choose Surfshark, Joe? Unlimited devices. You get to share with anyone you want. Friends and Friends family. And family, guys. And with our discount code below, you get 80 five percent off now with a two-year plan plus three free extra months when you use our code surfshark.deals backslash or forward slash angry joe show okay guys well i hope you enjoy the video check it out happy holidays guys this is the best vpn we've done the research this is the one to choose with unlimited friends and family which best by man. the way i hope you guys had a merry christmas and got all the gifts that you wanted and some awesome video games to play over Ooh. this last week in 2022 which uh we're here last news episode before the end of 2022 Dang. I didn't expect there to be actually any news, you know, Christmas break and stuff. Uh, it was over the weekend, but still, did anything happen? Yeah, there's a there's a bunch of announcements. People were using it as an opportunity for, like, short tweets and announcements. Uh, people getting sued and fined, so we'll talk about some yeah, of that yeah. stuff, too. <laughs> okay, yeah. all right, cool, yeah. All right, well, the first one, let's talk about the fake Pokemon NFT company. Uh, they just... NFTs, uh, you know, we we don't like here because a lot of them they just steal art from people or steal copy. Like they put Joe's face on a little body and they put give him fairy wings and he's juggling bombs and they're like, give me sixty dollars for this and that's a, that's a real thing. Uh, yeah. And so it has nothing to do with us. <laughs> yeah, nothing to do with us. And so uh, there was a website advertising and claiming to be launching a crypto game called Poke World and they were gonna sell NFTs. And uh, I don't know. Okay, world. Didn't it get sued? Yes. And so. <laughs> was like, uh, you can't fuck around with Pokemon. Yeah. So Pokemon. Pokemon Party Limited. Um, the Pokemon Company oh, International has a court to seek a resolution to stop Pokemon Party Limited from using their trademarks and stop the game from launching NFTs and all these other things. It's also emphasized that neither the Pokemon Company nor Nintendo has launched any NFTs because they're like, no. Do not buy Pokemon NFTs. But you, if you did, yeah, you're dumb. Okay, you're just, dumb. Well, <laughs> you just gross. How um, you know, you see the kind of shit that this attracts. The NFT fucking arena attracts this kind of shit. Just like, let's fucking you know steal some lies, let's make some quick money, and bit get the fuck out. And that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about there. So I right, save your money. Don't do any of the stupid shit. Continue laughing and uh. You know, raising your nose at the NFT uh, video game craze led by Ubisoft, yeah. <laughs> which is doing wonderfully. Yeah, and Ubisoft's doing not. real well with courts right now. Uh, I mean, the the article goes on, and like all of the comments are like, look, this is just greater, greater fool theory. It's like this has been a part of economics for a long time where someone hypes something up convinces you to buy the thing, and as soon as you buy it, you go, oh, shit. And now I have to find someone even dumber than me to buy the fake Pikachu. To buy the with, thing. With a, you know, it's got a mustache instead because it's a Pika whatever. It's a funnel. Yeah, and so, yeah. Reverse, <laughs> yeah it's, a reverse, it's a reverse funnel. It's a reverse funnel. <laughs> and so just stay away from all this stuff. All right, in, in exciting FIFA news. Oh, what was that? Uh, virus protection. Okay, good. All no, right. Uh, in exciting FIFA news, FIFA 23 uh, successfully predicted the winner of the World Cup. Wow. Uh, uh, and not yeah, only yeah. did it do it this year, but has done it four years in a row. Yeah, but not by the score, right? I mean, come on. it's uh, He's got Messi on the team. He's, he's Messi, and he's Argentina, <laughs> right? Argentina had Messi last time, too, and, and the then time they before predicted, that. And they predicted that they won? Well, they this year. So last time, uh, they pr correctly predicted that France would win. Before oh, right. that, they correctly predicted that Germany would win. Oh, and then shit. they correctly predicted that Spain would win. Uh, yeah, I didn't and know who, I, I don't Vegas, know who fucked. One. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so next year, God damn, when uh, e it's EA Sports FC comes out because it will oh, no longer that's be right. it's FIFA. No longer FIFA. Fire up a simulator and then don't go to Vegas and, and waste all your like <laughs> putting all your life savings. So they're not allowed to yeah. call it FIFA anymore. So they'll be predicting the globe um, football uh, globe container. Mm -hmm. 
the so- glo- soccer tournament. This, this, the globe contains. It's not soccer. <laughs> it's not soccer. <laughs> So, okay, well, yeah, I mean, they try to use Madden to simulate the motherfucking Super Bowls, it's and they, very, they mostly no. get it wrong. Yes. Yeah, uh, so I guess the, the game engine or the predictor engine is better in FIFA. FIFA, you know, is better overall than fucking Madden, you know. It's still a piece of shit game as well that yes. needs multiple upgrades, that has its focus in the wrong area, but at least they're working with slightly better bones and slightly more money than... Uh, than Madden has, so I'm I'm not surprised, uh, and you know that's good, good, good for them, good for the game. But I would prefer that you stop uh, dealing in fucking busting microtransaction packs and digital cards it's and here to stay, unfortunately. You know, focus on making the best game that you can. But I don't have a platinum Messi. I only have a gold plus oh, Messi. Well, an the, emerald. And oh, an emerald an Messi. Emerald Messi. Yeah, All right. Yeah, and no. so yeah, you gotta gotta put money into the machine to get that. The, Look, life is hard. If I don't get my uh, <laughs> my uh, serotonin from opening up packs, where am I going to get it? Busting packs. Yeah. All right. Microsoft is firing back at the FTC. The FTC said, you can't do what you want to do. You cannot buy Activision. You cannot buy Call of Duty because you'll be dicks about it. And Microsoft will say, fuck you. You're unconstitutional. And uh, I saw the oh. I saw the headline. I was like, "What? Unconstitutional? So, yeah. How is it unconstitutional? It's like to break up a monopoly? They're trying to break up a monopoly, is what the excuse they use." Yeah. So, Microsoft. The headline is Microsoft calls FTC uh, unconstitutional as part of its response to U.S. regulator suit over Activision Blizzard deal. Xbox maker says that the commission is violating its Fifth Amendment rights. Now, one of the most important things about it is you know going through all of of the the. the Dumbed down game journalist legalese is the FTC appoints a judge to oversee the case. It's not someone um, from the federal circuit and district court system. It's they just get appoint something. And so that Microsoft is like, look, you can't say that I'm getting a fair shake. You don't agree with me, and you know we can have different views. We go to an impartial judge, right? And the FTC goes, no, you go to the judge I appoint, and <laughs> my judge doesn't like you too because we're homies. And so uh, Microsoft is saying so it's like I'm good, yeah. yeah. So they, the, their quote is, the structure of these administrative proceedings in which the commission both initiates and finally adju- adjudicates the complaint against Microsoft violates Microsoft's Fifth Amendment due process rights to adjudication before a neutral arbiter. Saying, it's like, look, I want an actual federal judge to go because the, the EU has no problem with this deal. You should have no problem with this deal. We went over last time that one of the FTC's complaints was that Microsoft had misled the EU commission over its when it purchased uh, Bethesda. And then they said that's clearly even the EU came back and said that's clearly not true. They didn't tell us it was going to be, you know, something on PlayStation as well. So it's getting um, it's getting messy, and it's a big deal because we're talking about sixty nine billion with a B dollars. You know, probably the the largest purchase in in almost any industry, and for the gaming industry, this is absolutely massive. So um, we'll that's an ongoing thing that will go into twenty twenty three. Yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna have to see what that happens, and if you know, Call of Duty. You what know, do you think will happen? I think that they're going to have to initiate several concessions uh, and put in paper. You think it will go through? I think it will go through. I think Microsoft is going to have to put in writing that Sony gets access to Call of Duty up until this date, guaranteed. And then after that, they'll probably give Sony access to the games because there's no reason not to. Microsoft has been in the business of selling video games and giving it to as many people as they possibly can. And it doesn't make sense for them to say, no, half of gamers can't play this game because they make money selling the games. They don't make money selling the, the systems. Consoles, yeah. so, uh, there's also 10 people uh, in California, New Mexico, and New Jersey that are also suing Microsoft. It's a private consumer lawsuit filed in California this week that t- trying to force them to stop it. It uh, it is it is so garbage. It's yeah, just a bunch of just... PlayStation fan fanboys that are like, no, you can't take Call of Duty. And Microsoft's like, I'm not taking Call of Duty away from you. But they filed suit because anyone with a you know a pen anybody can, can, can file a lawsuit, and so it's kind of silly. Yeah. Uh, the final one we want to talk about is. Uh, the U- uh, there's a UK watchdog group that calls on Nintendo to fix Joy-Con drift and con- compensate consumers. This is the same group that did a study um, last year and found that 40% of tested switches had Joy-Con drift. Jesus More Christ, on that's the- a lot. Why can't Nintendo just fix your shit? They have enough money. Well, it was so much backlash. Oh well, yeah, that's true. Uh, they they did offer that eventually. Yeah, if you if you sent everything but you have in, to jump and paid, through all these like. Yeah. Li- 
hoops and shit. To yeah, do. they made it super, super difficult to do. According to Nintendo, um, they said that the percentage of Joy-Con drift is small and have been making continuous improvements in the Joy-Con analog since uh, 2017. I mean, anecdotally, my Joy-Con started drifting. I, I don't have yours started to drift at all. Jacob, I, I don't. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, Jacob. So, yeah. so okay. two out of three or two out of four here. Um, well, I don't play mine. Mine so. is probably drifting right yeah. now, and I wouldn't know it. <laughs> Uh, half the people that I went to Japan with went there to look for Joy-Cons because all of their stuff was drifting and they were sold out because everyone in Japan is buying the, the Joy-Con. It's a known problem. It, it's, it's a massive <laughs> issue and it's much bigger than Nintendo would uh, like you to believe. And so this is just a, another country's watchdog group saying like, and this is usually the first step before the government gets involved because consumer right groups um, feed things in and they do have some pull. And when you can say, look, 40% of your, your product just isn't working because of faulty... Um, you need to actually do a formal recall and pay consumers to have all this stuff done because taking your Joy-Cons and spending a whole bunch of money to ship them to a place and then being gone for seven weeks and mm-hmm. then coming back to you is just completely and totally unacceptable. And if they give you the right one. Hey, well, yeah, if they, if they give you the, the <laughs> And then sometimes they just send you ones back that just start to drift immediately exactly. too because they, it's refurbished with, they're like, oh, let's do it again. It's like, I don't want to be out of Joy-Cons for 14 weeks. I want to play the system. So... Not not looking good for uh, for Nintendo Switch users. It's going to yeah. be a uh, consistent problem. Yeah. Wonder when they're going to do their new console, the, the next generation of consoles. How much longer they plan to to do the Switch? I can't see it coming out next year. I think no. it's got to be you know twenty twenty five. Yeah, that sounds about right. We'll call it the Nintendo. Let's see, Switch. Uh, we'll call it the Nintendo uh, Flip. Flip. I don't know. It's pro- obviously it's, it's whatever the gimmick they go with <laughs> is what it'll be. Do you think it'll be a foldable one with like a foldable like you know Screen the new phones with foldable. the, the flip? It's a flip console. For your DS. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no. Nintendo's wacky, and then so I don't know. Yeah, they also got to appeal to the retirement homes and stuff. So no, I guess they didn't really do that with the Switch because this screen's too small. So you have to hold. Well, that. You Put it in and your dock. Hey, they also the dock, s- yeah. they sell those attachments. Remember the Euro Game Boy attachments with the magnifying screen where you can <laughs> yes. actually see things and <laughs> bring back all those things because uh, we're going to start needing them in a couple years. <laughs> Waste is a plastic. <laughs> all right. Anything else you guys want to go over in this video? No, th- I think that's it. Um, just double Ooh, checking. Uh, Sifu is coming to Xbox and Steam in March, so those players will be able to uh, join in. Though we played it on PC. Yeah, it must have been on Epic. must have been on Epic. Yeah. Uh, Cowabunga Collection uh, adds online co-op to Turtles in Time. So when it came out, there was a few updates that they wanted to do due to the game. Uh, you couldn't play Turtles in Time in co-op, and you couldn't, and, and now, so now you can, and then also they're going to add co-op to the Manhattan Project, uh, TMNT3, mm. and that's on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, so a bunch of games there that they've updated, so I would like to, to play that, that's you know, obviously my childhood and some pretty cool games there. Lost um, so much money playing Turtles yeah. in Time. At the and I'll game. save the rest of these for the second video since oh. there's not that much news going on here other than everybody being happy, okay? Being happy, spending time with family, getting mm-hmm. some presents, playing video <coughs> games. That's what we're going to be doing over this last week in 2022. And uh, thank you all guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you to our sponsors, uh, Surfshark. Go check out their service and uh, uh, for the new year. And we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.